I was thinking whether we should waste much time talking about Russia and Ukraine here. Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. The, the only thing I can draw from that, this conflict which has had many consequences that have gone beyond that geographical space and affected uh, those of us, say, in Africa um, and, and beyond and other places, whether we shouldn't uh, be thinking even more about um, what we should be doing together. Uh, and each of our countries doing their best um, to make the kinds of investments that will uh, enable us to survive no matter what conflict uh, in other places. Mm. Uh, as, of course, we wish to have no such a conflict, so even to end them where they are, but to primarily survive the consequences of that. For example, you, everyone has heard of um, uh, shortage of uh, grains, of uh, fertilizer, or all kinds of things that we need for uh, for food or input in, into our agricultural systems. So, can we build resilient uh, economies and have these sectors so that uh, because we can grow grains, uh, we can have grains. Uh, to feed uh, Zambia, Rwanda, and the rest of Africa, especially given the agreements we have uh, signed and the vision we share of uh, self-sufficiency, uh, so that we are able to weather the storm that comes from different parts of, of the... This is really my, so, my, so. my, my... For me, what would be more important but this is not to um, sort of uh, belittle or minimize the importance of the effort. Uh, you, the leaders of our continent, uh, attempted to uh, contribute to the peace that is required in that part of the world, but also benefiting the rest of the world. Yeah. Uh, but I think putting them in terms of hierarchy, for me, the other one is, is more important because even if you had solved this problem, it doesn't m matter that there is likely to be another conflict somewhere else uh, uh, we, we, as we have seen, I'm, I'm, I'm talking as a, a student of, of history or an observer who mm. sees what mm. happens in real life. Mm. So instead of running after one problem and trying to, to address it, which is necessary to do uh, whenever that is required, but more important, uh, running after these efforts to prevent by creating uh, resilience in, in uh, mm. our governance, in our economies, in our productivity. And I think this is where, yeah, but it doesn't stop people trying to do something whenever and wherever they can, to try and uh, uh, bring to an end any conflict like that 
uh, even before it affects our economies, <coughs> it consumes people's lives <laughs> in their thousands and really causes uh, tragedies and the devastation. But um, so I, 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 I'm not sure well, the journalist is doing his work, but uh, as leaders, we have to do our work also. Indeed. In terms of you know, educating some of these journalists. Uh, just to add on a little bit. To there we have it. Let us know if you liked or hated what you had in the comments below. In this uh, show, we do not give you our opinions. We want us to discuss below. That's the whole point of uh, listening to a candid speech, not us imposing our opinions on you, but all of us discussing opinions. If you liked it or didn't like it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It's the best way to show YouTube this is a good video and it will share it to more like-minded people like you. So uh, this has been Mikey Mushi from Tunacheki, and that has been your Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic.